G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. A loser bum back in the house, ready to deliver some high quality, high production value content via the internet to the little, little itty bitty pixels on your screen. Great to see you all again. You can see we're getting more and more professional. Got a intro video, high quality production value. What can I say? Um, what I can say is that I'm totally excited, chuffed, grateful, over the moon. Last video had over 300 views. We've cracked the barrier of 40 subscribers. I was only shooting for 20 this year. We've doubled that already. Again, I'm grateful. You're awesome. I'm going to try and keep up um, with expectations and keep delivering good stuff for you. Among those subscribers, one of the names I could see was a gentleman called Vadim Paretokin, who has got 140 subscribers. I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy, big guy over there. And he's got a bunch of videos um, about Mudlet. Now, I have no idea what's in there. I haven't watched a single one of them. But because he subscribed to my channel, I know he is a man of distinction, intellect, and I'm sure the content is great. I'm going to do a little bit more about Mudlet today. But not forever. Maybe um, you can find something in there which, which works better for you, even better. Um, so uh, one of the reasons for the success of the videos is I was posting links to the videos on Reddit, right? And that got me some extra views. Not only did it get me extra views, it got me something very weird. It got me positive acc accolades. People saying, thank you so much. Yeah, man, spread the word. This is Reddit. This is Reddit comment sections and people are being nice and spelling correctly and not just personally attacking me or members of my family. Something weird's going on here, right? Even down here, right? There's good video, so there's an accolade, and then there's information. This is somebody from Stigma uh, who says, hey, we had DNS, issue, DNS issues. Remember in the last video, couldn't use Stigma like in the first one. That's why I went to Ardwolf. Well, they saw that, and rather than having a go saying, you was wrong, you idiot, whatever, they said, hey, we had some problems, they're fixed now. And that's awesome. So that's why we're going to use stick mud when we go play with mudlet just a little bit later here. But again, it's polite. It's well correctly spelt, but it's Reddit, right? So, and it's a small community, you know, less than 10,000 people on Reddit. Maybe it's flying under the radar of all the trolls and aggressive people. I mean, I, I recently posted a meme about Dungeons and Dragons, completely harmless, got two comments which went off onto a complete anti-communist rant saying Trump is great and Bernie Sanders is an idiot, which nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons. That's Reddit. This is not Reddit. What we're seeing here is weird. But then it, it gets even weirder, right? If I go to the YouTube comments section, right? Positive comments here, informative comments here. I said in one of my videos that mods were free. Uh, this gentleman very politely points out that there are commercial mods like this Ashea or Ikea, how it's pronounced. And there's a few others out there. Um, so, you know, correcting me without insulting me and helping in the YouTube comment section, right? I mean, I go further, I've got another one on here uh, where I was talking about Mudlet and said something about Mudlet specific. There, this guy who on YouTube is called S. Lyons, but um, apparently is a mudlet maker who has a different name. Remember my video about alter ego? Yeah, us mudders have multiple alter egos. So a guy who made the actual mudlet or helps make the actual mudlet software Right, why uh, the complaint was that you have to activate the, the keys. We'll see that in a moment again. Well, and the reason why that is, is that because sometimes you don't want them to be effective immediately. If you have a button which says shoot myself in the head 16 times for a good reason, maybe you don't want that active before you click the little box. So again, somebody straight from the community being helpful and informative in the YouTube comment section of all places, right? I mean, if you took... Chernobyl, right, and buried it inside Fukushima, and then you took all of the coronavirus and put it on top, it would be less toxic than the YouTube comment section. So I don't know exactly what's happening here. Maybe I broke the light barrier in my Millennium Falcon and I've gone into a parallel universe where people on YouTube are actually nice to each other. Actually, no, I do have a theory. I, I know why this is happening. Well, I don't know, but I have a very valid theory. So People in the mudding community have been interacting via text to strangers over the internet for at least 10, 15 years. I mentioned I started mid 19 yeah, so mid 90s, 15 years ago. So all of the nasty behaviors which everybody else is discovering on the internet, m uh, mobbing people, insulting them, flame wars. Oh, we had legendary flame wars on the mud back in the day. 
Um, you know, all of that aggression, again, because you're anonymous and it's text only, and you're, the other guy can't fight back, uh, and whatever, all that toxicity, toxicity, all that poison was something that they got out of their systems 15 years ago, so they don't need to wave their egos around the place and they can be nice and helpful and other reasons why you might want to play mud it's a nice um place on the internet as i said back then we did everything we, we learned how to uh, meet people on the internet how to fight them how to make up um back then you couldn't really send dick pics well with some notable exceptions you know who you are you had to maybe send them in ascii art which just isn't quite the same thing so muds are a healthier place anyway so uh topic for today just gonna go back to mudlet and close off a few loose ends from last time uh like i said we're gonna use stick mud uh, because it's back online yep there it is i'm in uh, let me just full screen that there i am this is loser bum on stick mud it's restored my stuff uh let's see where to go so we have the keys which i started showing last time um and here this is why you know you can activate or deactivate a key in case you don't want it active uh, a little thing which i did now um, which might have been confusing the last time the, so the name is just a name which I'm giving to this particular piece of setup, right? So I'm calling them, in this case, just the N key for North, but I could call it North. Uh, it's especially re relevant down here where I'm using the plus key on the keypad for down. So who knows that? Like here I'm saying, no, I'm making a key for the command down, which is keypad plus, and the key for up is minus. So you have the name of the script, which is just for me as the programmer to know what this is. The command is uh, what is actually going to be sent to the MUD when I send a key. And the key binding is the key which I press to send that command. So like I mentioned last time, I've got all my directions, including the diagonals. I got my up and down on the plus and minus, already mentioned that. And I just, uh, yeah. And the one which I mentioned uh, last time, um, I'm going to use the zero key, which is in insert uh, for enter and the period key so the dot which is the delete key on the numerical keypad for out uh, by the way you will notice that all of these are using the numbers of the keypad why is that um, it's because if I were to not have numlock on it would interfere with the function which I have down here which is really nice which is um, you know uh, if I type something uh, you know wield uh, wield all um, I can go back and forth left and right here to edit oh I made a mistake I forgot the D I can use use my left arrow and go to D if I had um, if I used the num pad without the num lock uh, I couldn't use left and right because it would interfere with this function down here also going up in this uh, little thing down here goes back in in the history of commands so having that memory of commands which is nothing revolutionary most shells have that is is very helpful so that was uh, revisiting the keys uh, another couple of things which don't have to do with mudlet but which are generally valid in almost every mud so good for you to know one is the wimpy command wimpy is not a british burbergate chains of dubious quality uh, it uh, sets a threshold by if by default it's 30 but i could set it to, i could set it to um, 40 and when my hit points drop below that particular number I'm automatically going to run away. This is kind of good if I have lag. So I see myself, I'm, I'm taking damage very fast and I've got lag and I don't react fast enough and I die. I mentioned that dying is really annoying in the mud with a wimpy it'll automatically run away in stick mud i didn't see a way how to set the direction i know some muds, muds where you can even set the direction which you're going to run away in but in, in stick mud we have the map so it's not that bad if it uh, runs away so wimpy important command especially as a newbie set that another one which i showed last time who which is also a unix command shows me who is um who is on the mud finger is also a, a linux command so i'm gonna finger myself no nasty jokes there you dirty minded people here oscar wilde a dirty mind is a joy for life finger loser bum oh wow that sounds real um that just like uh allowed i can do that with any player on the mud and it'll give me a little bit of uh, information about them not much but a little bit so i could feel there's this guy up here filth mclean um so i can say finger filth and it'll tell me 
uh, that he's from .com, so maybe he's from the, U uh, from the US. He's a female goblin, so it's, e it's a she, so well, the character's a she, maybe the player is a she, or cross-dressing, don't judge. Um, yeah, things like that, so the finger, and then uh, important one, score as well, yeah, just to know how you're doing. That's always a good one, how many hit points I have, how much gold, how old, lots of stuff in there. You can, by the way, you can also say, look at lose a bum you can also look at yourself and then you'll see uh, how other people see you basic uh, commands on actually most of the mods will will have this um, two more mudlet things so we're going to get a bit of programming but there's a huge manual in there so one of them is aliases by the way i'm going to do this in the mini map over here so hang on whoop, i'm here i'm going to use my keys to navigate to somewhere here let's say Oops, is that Ogre? Yep. So I'm using that. Um, by the way, I found out this this park which you land in on um, uh, in Stick Mud seems to be a newbie area. In the north part, there's things like priests and dwarfs and gnomes and trolls. Whoops, and the troll is actually an aggro, so auto attacks. So it's it's got a, a sort of one of every race in there and maybe one of every profession. So you can look at it. There's a little sign read sign on each of these rooms which says read sign which says uh, priest you know what a priest can do and, and cannot do uh, anyway so uh, because i'm in the mud in this position uh, let's say there's something i want to do all the time i always want to run from this place to the other side of the mud and maybe i want to run back as well or maybe i want to uh, or you know that i've got a complex thing like wield my knife and wear my armor something like that and i don't want to have to type that in every time right so i can do a thing which is called an alias and i've got one here which i built earlier called run where again the name of the alias just so i remember what it is called run the pattern is what i type in so if i type in uh r r r so triple r uh, then it will execute these commands uh down here so in this case i've just made an easy one hang on i gotta move over otherwise that troll is gonna beat me uh this is kind of a trivial example let's let's say i'm here and i want to go north very fast i try triple r Whoop, I jumped to the north. Now, you wouldn't necessarily use this for navigation, but you could use this for, let's, let's build a new alias, which I'm going to keep for the future. Uh, add item. I'm going to call it where newbie, because this is just going to be um, wearing stuff when I'm a newbie. So when I'm a newbie, I always have, or almost always have um, a, um, a shield. So I'm going to say where shield and I'm semicolon is how you split one command from the other semicolon and uh, wield I could say wield knife wield machete but wield actually takes a wield all and will just wield everything so I'm adding that item I'm saving it it's automatically activated and WW is the pattern so I go out and if I look at my inventory currently uh, I've got a shield I've got a knife but I'm not wearing them I should would now normally have to type wield uh, knife, wear shield. Now I can just type WW. Uh, bump. I'm. Oh, uh, yep. And it it works, except that the wield all apparently doesn't work. That's got to be on on Ard Wolf mud. So we can go in and change it. Just fix it on. Wield knife. Save item. Close that. And WW. Up. Oh, so now. So okay. And so with that, you over time assemble your set of scripts. And trust me, you'll if you play a lot, you'll need a lot of them um, to do all the thing and save yourself a, a lot of typing. Next one I have. So that's aliases important. Next one is triggers. Timers are similar, but triggers is simply when something comes from the mud. Yeah, when a certain text comes from the mud, then do a certain thing. In this case, I've even got two triggers because I wasn't sure which one it is. But if the line starts with this text, you killed, so I killed somebody, then I want to get all from corpse. I want to loot the stuff from the corpse if there's any, anything on there. And then I want to cook the corpse because for some reason, um, hang on, we're going to start this right now. The... Um, Stick mud has got this cannibalism thing going. So I'm starting to kill this gnome. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of a moment, but once they, uh, I kill this gnome and it says you killed gnome, then it should automatically fire, try to loot the corpse, and then cook the corpse. 
So the cool thing is between triggers and aliases and also timers, timers is just do something every 10 seconds or every one hour or a certain time, um, you can program the MUD to go on autopilot. That's called botting. You write a bot which plays the MUD. You're not supposed to do that, but in this day, I don't think people are going to get so obsessive. Or at least you can automate a lot of things. I used to play on a MUD where you constantly had to reload your heels. It would be your cigarettes gone out. Uh, yeah, this was <laughs> this was the 90s. Get a cigarette from Pat, light the cigarette. That would just be on autopilot. If your um, microchip ran out of battery, you had to recharge the battery. All of that was running automatically, so you automatically had the, the heels. That's what you can do with aliases and triggers, and it's very powerful. Um, in fact, um, one of the notes which we got, uh, we'll keep this thing killing here in the background. Oh, well, he's in not in good, good shape. Uh, give him a second. Uh, I'm still weak, and I'm sure there must be a way to attack him better. I'm a priest. I should be able to do, you know, um, fireball or something at him. While we're waiting for the gnome, there's more buttons up here which you can use. So on the basics, uh, on the character and whatever, uh, because this uh, 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 mudlet is well integrated with stick mud, you don't just get the map, you get a lot of the help files up here, as well as things like abilities. It'll tell you what abilities and spells you have, uh, how to train, uh, all kinds of other information. So you have these kind of cool buttons over here. Um, That'll, that'll help you. Okay, come on, Gnome, die. I want to show this trigger in action. He's in bad shape, he's in bad shape. Uh, okay, well then we'll skip the other one because we want to keep the video tight. It's already a bit longer than I wanted it to. Uh, in the comment from Mr. S. Lyons, who is the secret identity of an actual mudlet maker, he mentions that uh, you can actually uh, put more code than just the simple one I've got. You can program stuff in Lua. So Lua is apparently a programming language. So down here, let's say in my triggers, I could actually put Lua code down here. So Lua is a programming language. Uh, I just googled it, and this is the Wikipedia article. If I look at it, it looks a bit like the bastard child of JavaScript and, and Pascal. I don't trust any language which has things like begin and end or do and end. A proper language has got to have a bunch of semicolons and weird brackets uh, and tabs, uh, if possible. But it looks very easy to learn, and in fact, it says that it's a lightweight programming uh, language um, is very uh, po um, popular in games development because it's so easy to learn. I look at this, and yeah, I could learn this. So I could program anything in this um, in this uh, mudlet to make very very complex functions, and I suppose that all of this map stuff and other things are programmed in Lua. Still, it's a bit exotic. I'd never heard of Lua, and you're talking to a man who once did production code in Tickle, tool command language. One day I'll do a video about that. You don't want to know. Default integers to octal. That's all you've got to... You've got to know. Anyway, we saw here, you killed Gnome. And while I was, you know, I was on the other window. I wasn't even looking at the screen. It said, get all from corpse. Oh, but the corpse is empty. Cook corpse. And it started cooking the corpse. And then I start eating the corpse. And that heals me very fast. Straight back to 94 hit points. Right? Okay. So, um... I'd say that's about it uh, for now. Um, yeah, we talked about, so in the last videos, how to find a MUD, how to connect to a MUD, how to create a character, make sure you get your keys right over time, learn how to do aliases and triggers, use the Reddit slash MUD, they seem to be helpful people. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, um, I talked about a little bit of the history. Um, uh, back in my day, again, when I was playing it in the mid-90s, this was early internet days, and a lot of people you had there on the MUDs were students, often computer science students, because they're the only ones who had access to the internet all the time, or they were people working on the internet. So it was actually quite impressive. We used to have like people from Cisco there, so if you wanted to know, oh, how do I set up my router, and what's an IP address, and back then, yeah, we had to like punch each IP address bit by bit into a card to navigate to anywhere on the internet. I remember IP addresses. Um, and so you could ask the guy from Cisco, it's like, how do I set my route and what's a subnet? Um, also, uh, the typing, right? Um, a lot of people I know of my generation who have gone on to a career in computer science, they type very well because they started on MUDs and it was all interactive and they type super fast. Perfect example, my mate Pablo Azul, he's a master blind typer, never looks at the keyboard, types very fast. That helped his career no end when he was programming a lot. He's really good at it. He's now the chief 
technical officer. He's a t CTO at a multi-million dollar company. Why did he learn to type so fast? Because he was doing MUDs and he had to go downstairs to the modem, remember the acoustic cable I showed, and type in the dark so as not to wait in the fa uh, wake up the family. He'd sneak down into the, the ground floor living room at night, could not switch on a light, so couldn't see the keys on the keyboard, and was blindly the typing uh, 60 words a minute on the mud. And that led to a very um, successful career um, for him today. So, um, yeah, mudding can have, um, was probably better for your career than Fortnite, I'll say that. Um, Oh yeah, uh, one thing I want to say, so great success with these mud videos, 300 views, 40 subscribers, eternally grateful. I don't want this channel to turn into a pure mud channel. I want to do some other stuff. I've got some ideas flying around. I've been doing this streak because it's been working well. So um, the deal is this, I will start doing some other material as well, but I'll keep going back to the mud uh, stuff. I have some idea, there's bunches of content, so I'm not going to give up on the mud. And what I'll do is I'll make a separate playlist just for the mud stuff and just keep linking to that in the comments so that people who don't want to watch the other Fortnite or whatever the hell I come up with um, don't have to watch that. So thanks for the mud community. I'm not giving up on, uh, on you, but I do want to go back uh, a, a little bit to, to what this channel originally was about. Uh, with that, remember to like, share and subscribe. Remember to tell your friends to like, share and subscribe. Also, uh, remember to hit up Loser Bum Central. Uh, big shout out to my bro, Pete the Red. He's out there fighting the good fight for the downtrodden, unwashed math masses with social democracy up the wazoo. Uh, he actually bought a cup. So somebody actually bought some merchandise. And from the 20th of February, so today for the next four days until the 24th of February, 15% off. Not me. That's what the shop does. And also, by the way, you can just, if the price is too high, just steal the graphic and have it make your own. I'm not worried about this. So yeah, hit it up. You're all a bunch of bloody legends. I'm Loserbum. This has been a bit of a long video, but I love you all. I'm out of here.